everyone, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute. My youngest daughter Bella, after doing a wax museum of Walt Disney, has been crazy into drawing and I love it because you know how I am with drawing. And so she has filled up her first sketchbook with amazing pieces and is ready for a new one. And I found this really cute idea of covering her books with material and I wanted to share that with you guys. First thing you're gonna do is cut your material to fit your book. And I just went and got several pieces that I wanted to match her room. And you want to leave about two inches all the way around the book, but you also want not just this size of the book, you want both sides. So I'm going to very carefully fold it over, not moving it and then cut about two inches. Step two is your gluing process. So what you wanna do is just start brushing the Mod Podge or glue onto your book. Once you have a generous amount of glue on, you're just gonna take the fabric and fold it over and press it down into that crease right there. And then you wanna smooth it out nice and smooth so there's no bumps left. And then you wanna scoot it so that it's nice and tight along that binding as well. Then we're gonna flip it over and do, repeat the same process on this side. And so what you wanna do is your corner first, and so you're just gonna paint a little square right here in the corner on both sides. Or both corners, I should say. And then we're just gonna take the fabric and fold it down just like this until it is going the right way. And then we want this little flap inside here to stick down. Ah! I'm gonna have Mod Podge everywhere. So I put a little glue inside there so those would stick as well. And then repeat the same thing on this side. We're gonna be folding these pieces over now and so this part of the book, um, we want that to be able to fold down neatly. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna make a cut right here at that crease so it will fold into the book. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that little flap at the very end. All right, I finished folding all my edges down on this side, so now I'm gonna go over to the other side of the book and repeat the same process on the flip side. All right, we are ready for our finishing touch, which is this little part on the binding. And you can trim off just a little bit right here, just that tiny little section about, oh, I don't even know, a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna trim that off because it's just a little too much and it won't make a difference. This is hard to do, to hold it at a right angle for you guys and hold the scissors and the, the book. And then you're gonna take just a knife. You could also use a flathead screwdriver and forgot. I'm gonna cut just a little bit off of this so you only have about maybe half an inch there. And then you're just gonna take the knife and poke that down in there and it will be all nice and neat. Just don't rip your book. And voila! 
Then you repeat the same process on the other end. Okay, my last few suggestions and finishing tips to your book. You can see this looks kind of streaky on here. That's just where the glue has not dried yet. It was a little bit thicker in those. So when I take the final pictures, you guys can see how that will look. Um, you can do a couple of more things to give your book a little bit more finished look. You could also cut this page, of the very first page of the book, you could cut that right there and Mod Podge that onto the front and the back cover if you wanted a more finished look to your book. Um, and then also, you could also put another layer of Mod Podge on the top of the fabric if you wanted it to be have a, a, a sealant to it. Um, but I prefer the softer look to this, so I'm gonna leave the fabric as is. I did a couple of other books for her and I love the way the butterflies turned out. So stinking cute. So these will be stacked in um, her bedroom. And then if you want to, another idea, you could even add a cute embellishment or something of that nature. If you wanted to give a gift or you wanted to um, just make it a little bit fancier. You can do that as well. I hope you really enjoyed this very inexpensive and really easy project. This would be a good one to do all summer long to decorate your room or to just preserve all of your favorite books. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye!